Hey y'all, it's Cindy Cobb with Around the Town in the South and I'm on the beautiful brick streets of Clinton, Mississippi, downtown, right here by City Hall. I am with Mark Jones. He's the Communications Director for Clinton. You know, I've been watching you now for a while, even before we had this partnership. I love the way you love Clinton. You're forward thinking. You're always looking for something to bring here, something to do. Your zest and love for Clinton is contagious. Thank you so much. Well, if you got to come to work every day, and see this. <laughs> I know it. This is how I start my day. Oh, yeah. Awesome. And we try to do things to help people end their day, uh, yeah. spend part of their day here, because it's so beautiful. It is beautiful. Uh, and so this weekend, it's another one of those those weekends that we, we kind of cram everything in. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. we got a lot going on. We're going to talk about a few things. I love that there's also... Right over here, they're they're doing some additions. I don't know what business this is, but I love to see progress. Do you know what that business is? That be? is actually going to be a monogram shop. Oh wow! It's a, it's a lady, um, Chip and Alicia Wilbanks. Yeah. Uh, they are opening up a monogram shop there, and so we're excited that that is coming. Another shop is coming to Old Town. Absolutely, it's going to be beautiful. So in saying that, let's get right to business. We're here to talk about some events that's going on this weekend, some exciting events, and then he's going to give you a little bit of surprise of what's coming. He's going to surprise me too. So tell us what's going on this weekend, Mark. Well, for tomorrow night, Friday, we have Aladdin, the latest Disney motion picture. So it's live action. Uh, we are going to have a few extra surprises there with some makeovers and some princess makeovers, oh, cool. things like that. So bring the, the children, the grandchildren out, bring that chair, it, the uh, the screen will be set up at the intersection of Main Street and Jefferson. Right. Uh, we will have plenty of food. You got 303 Jefferson, the bank. I think there's going to be Grumpy Dave's popcorn. Mm -hmm. All of those things will be here to make that a fun evening. What's great is for Clintonians, there is not a football game tomorrow night. The, oh. the high school football team, uh, Go Arrows, is doing a great job. They're Go two Arrows. and two for the year. A young team, ninth and tenth graders, but they actually have this week off. And awesome. so come on out. Uh, enjoy dinner and a movie Friday night and then Saturday morning. Yeah. If you like classic cars, if you just want to stroll the brick streets, I remember growing up, uh, my dad bought my first car, it was a 1955 Chevy Bel Air. Oh wow. Turquoise and white. And so the C Cruising Clinton Car Show is going to be one of those things right here on Jefferson Street. Classic cars, Corvettes, uh, MGs, all of those guys that have those those classic cars will be here in Clinton this weekend for you to walk by and look at. There will be uh, music, 50s music playing on, on the speakers. Oh, wow. That'll so be fun. We're doing everything we can to, to connect the community into Old Town and into the city of Clinton this year. The parade actually will, there will be a classic car parade. Yeah. Starting at 9 a.m. at the Big Lots parking lot. It will go up Lakeview Drive. They're going to do the old Jitney to Jitney no uh, way. cruise, but they're going from the old Big Lot, the Big Lots parking lot, what you know is Jitney, right. all the way up to Northside Drive. Northside Drive kind of going to snake through some of the neighborhoods, come back down the Clinton Parkway, and then it will go south of the interstate and move through the Countrywood Trailwood neighborhood, then back up, and all the cars will come up College Street, turn on Jefferson, so that then they can back into their spots, and they will be here from 10 to 1 in Old Town Clinton for the Cruising Clinton Car Show. That sounds like so much fun. I love it. We actually have a Bronco that's been in our family, I think since 1968. Lee, you're going to have to correct me. It's either 68 or 69. I can't remember. My daddy bought that back in the day. It's, my brother has it now. He's revamped it. It's beautiful. He doesn't like to drive it much because, I mean, it is absolutely gorgeous. But he needs to bring that down here. He's ridden around town with a couple of his buddies, and everybody loves it. But uh, I encourage you to come down here. Listen, let me ask you a question. Where there will be food vendors and all that through here Saturday morning too? There will be some food vendors. Again, Grumpy Dave's will be here. There will be food vendors and um, obviously the restaurants will be open. Right. Mimi's is open uh, with most on Saturdays they sell, sell a lot of birthday cakes. Right. But they will be open. Mimi's will. Brick Street Pops will be open. Right. Uh, something for everyone to enjoy. Music, awesome. food classic cars main street does a great job tara and her team yes, are doing a do. great job yes they uh, do we're really starting to see even more of a transformation if you drove over to the new lions club park yes uh, they actually have cleared the area and flattened it out where the stage is going to be over there at the park it's it's a pretty cool uh, experience to watch as this park is beginning to take transformation so we're excited about cruising clinton we're excited about the coming clinton and across the city 
Uh, there's some really cool things coming to the city with our dog park. Yes. I noticed you brought your baby with you today. My baby's traveling with me. She's been traveling with me for two weeks now. I've left her alone one time in two weeks. I just feel guilty about leaving her because she's there by herself. And if I can bring her with me, I have a little stroller. She's actually uh, an emotional service dog. Not a service dog, but an emotional dog. So she has the paper. She can go with me wherever I want to take her. So she is with me. And that's what I love about what you're doing for people like me who love our pets. Of the dog park, uh, we've got the fencing up. Oh, two, wow. Two acres. There will be a small dog park area, a large dog area, but the small dogs can go into the large area. It will have a, a water fountain for the dogs to stay refreshed, some benches. There are some, already some natural shade structures there, but right. we're talking about adding more, some play devices for the dogs, some, some ways for the owners to interact with their dogs. This will be, I think, a little bit larger than the two dog parks that are at, up at the reservoir. Oh, that's so awesome. we're very excited that is coming probably here in the next couple of weeks we'll do a soft opening and then October 5th we are going to do a really large opening of our dog park over by October fire station 5th. to October 5th. All it's, right it's we'll, be, here. we'll be here doing that vlog no doubt. I know you've got something else that's really exciting you want to tell us what is it? Well it's Mississippi. <laughs> Wives, husbands, Clinton is putting in an archery range. Traceway Park will be the site of a new archery range. Wow. Um, over there on the kind of the, the east side of the park where we shoot the fireworks off in mm -hmm. that area, mm -hmm. we're putting in an archery range, 125 foot long archery range. So it will be big enough for everybody to come out there. There'll be pavilions and, and shooting range. For those of you who are not hunters, because we have viewers all over the world, we really do. Tell us what an archery range is. It, it, it bow and arrow. Uh, you can you bring out a traditional rebow, bring out a, a a compound bow, but it's an opportunity to come out and and tune in your skills. So many people live in in suburban neighborhoods, but they hunt on weekends or, or early in the morning. I mean, I have friends that get up at 4 a.m. during hunting season. They go out and My so my family does it. <laughs> archery has become a sanctioned sport in, in not only private school, but public schools in right. the state of Mississippi. Right. And so we are trying to create a first of its kind archery range here in Clinton. How exciting. Uh, anybody around the metro, we're working with Mississippi College. They have an archery team. Yeah. Clinton High School has an archery team. We're working with the school district and with Clinton Christian Academy. So this thing's coming here. We're starting breaking ground in the next week. So how long do you think it'll take to build? It won't take that long, probably a month to awesome. get the ground moved, get the initial phase, which is 125 by 15 foot long covered pavilion, and then another pavilion that's a little bit smaller for uh, for judges and things if we do a shooting competition. The ultimate goal for Adam Wade and our Parks and Rec Department Absolutely. is an indoor archery range out at Traceway Park. Oh, wow. Uh, we want to host regional competitions. Mm -hmm. uh, the, in the Las Vegas Convention Center this year, there is a there was a giant a giant archery competition. And so Clinton believes we can pick up some of these regional competitions that may qualify you for nationals. Y'all, a lot of exciting things are come, going on around Clinton. If you're not just in Main Street, all over Clinton, you have OMG over there, you have Shipley's on it, you have shopping, you have the, the dress shop. It's so much to see in Clinton. If you haven't come, check out my vlogs. I've already done three vlogs. We did uh, around, it's all about Clinton, around the town, it's all about Clinton. I've already posted three extra vlogs uh, that you can see where we went as far as, um, hang on a second. I don't know if you can hear this or not, but think green. Think clean, just passed by, so I wanted to make sure you hear heard me. Keeping Clinton clean. Absolutely. So, go and look at those vlogs, but there's so much to do in Clinton. If you just want a, a date night, if you just want a Saturday morning stroll, I passed so many uh, walkers on this strip this morning. It's, it's amazing. So, check out what's going on on the Clinton website and also on the, hang on. Check out what's going on the Clinton website. Um, I put I post it there, and then I'll post, whenever he gives me the information, I'll repost stuff. But y'all, Clinton's got some exciting things going on. Check out Main Street on their website and on their um, Facebook too, because they really are working hard to get Clinton, to give the, the not only the residents of Clinton something to do, but the outskirts of Clinton. Come here, enjoy, shop, eat, drink, play, have fun. Anything else you wanna say? Keep up with it at ClintonMS.org. Everything's on our calendar. What's great is our calendar is integrated with Mississippi School District, oh, as wow. well as all the school departments, wow. all, all the city departments. So, 
Uh, go to our website, it's a one-stop shop, but we are present on social media as well. So Very. So follow them on Facebook and Instagram and I'm sure Twitter. Yes. Awesome. Y'all, thank y'all for joining me. I love the Brick Streets. We'll be doing a lot on this in the next couple months because it's getting cool. Thank you, Jesus. We're not sweating. But I just think this is a cool backdrop. We may be on another corner next time, but I wanted you to the Brick Streets where this event will be happening Saturday morning. Thank you for all you do for us. This has been sponsored by OMG Clinton, Mississippi. If you haven't been there, their shop is so cute, isn't it? It's great. We popped in there. Also, Shipley's Donuts. Listen, they will partner with you. What I love about Shipley's here in Clinton is they are looking for ways to partner with you to give back. And it's a great thing. Yes. Thank you to our sponsors. We'll see you around the town.